In this lecture, we are going to discuss introduction to lexical analyzer and grammars. Okay. So, introduction lexical analyzer and grammars. Okay. So, first of all, we will see what are the responsibilities of lexical analyzer responsibilities of lexical analyzer so the first responsibility of lexical analyzer is converting lexemes into tokens converting lexemes into tokens right and second responsibility is removing the comments removing the comments third responsibility is removing the white spaces or the blank spaces removing the white spaces or you can say the new line right and the fourth responsibility of lexical analyzer is if they if it is getting any error if it is getting any error then it will show up it will show up and it will show the line number in which the error is present okay <clears throat> so these are the responsibilities of lexical analyzer first is converting lexemes into tokens second is removing the comments third is removing the white spaces or the blank spaces and fourth responsibility of lexical analyzer is if it is getting any error it will show up the line number okay now we will see some questions based on tokens which are generally asked in gate okay so let's see that so suppose a code a piece of code is given to you int max then you have int x comma y and there is a comment find max of x and y right and there is then a return statement now now in this piece of code in this piece of code we have to find the number of tokens number of tokens we have to find out okay so how to count the tokens this int will be one token second this open parenthesis will be considered as one token then x then comma then y then close parenthesis then int x comma y semicolon now as a lexical analyzer removes the comment so we don't consider comments as the tokens now the open braces then this return this x this operator this one all these are all these are considered as token so if we count if we count this it will come out as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 so total 25 tokens will be there 25 tokens is there uh, present in the code okay now let's consider uh, one more 
suppose there is a printf statement given to you percentile d something like hello and there's x so now we have to find the number of tokens present in this piece of code okay so now this will be considered as one this is two now the this entire string this entire string is considered as one token because it is present in this codes okay so it will be considered as one token then this comma ampersand then x then this closed parenthesis and then semicolon so total number of parenthesis uh, total number of tokens will be one two three four five six seven and eight so eight will be the answer okay suppose we have something like this do then i something like this we have suppose then number of tokens will be number of tokens we can find out this as one key one keyword or one lexium then this third fourth now this is a decimal value so it will be considered as one token okay this whole number so one two three four five so five tokens will be there so 1.25 will be considered as one token only okay so these kind of questions can be asked in gate okay and you will also find these kind these are these kind of questions in the test series okay so now let's proceed so now we will discuss uh, grammars and uh, how how to find out the leftmost derivation if a grammar is given to us uh, grammar is given to us and rightmost derivation and the parse tree okay so <clears throat> suppose a grammar is given to you like this okay so in this grammar we have variables terminals production and start symbols okay here a variable is E only right in this grammar we have only this variable and what are the terminals this operator this and ID these are the terminals and these are the productions and if if we say the start symbol so this will be the start symbol this will be considered as the start symbol okay now suppose uh, there is an expression like id plus id and this so if we have to derive this expression using this grammar so how can we do that we can do it in two ways so one way will be id we can take it like id plus e if we take this as the start so then we will get this now first we will talk about lmd that is leftmost derivation okay that is left most derivation okay that means we are driving the string from the leftmost side okay so we have this then this e will be e will be written as id right so id plus e because we have to drive this expression okay so id plus e then then we have to expand this so we will get id plus e as e into e right so then we can then we have to expand this e and we will get id 
into D or asterisk then we will get ID plus ID star ID right so we got this expression and this is LMD leftmost derivation right now now we can also derive this string using rightmost derivation suppose this is the given production as production to us then if we derive if we expand this e we will get something like this e plus id or e plus uh, e star e right now from the right hand side we can start expanding it so we will get id here then e plus we will expand this i this variable right and then later on we will expand the rightmost which is this so and this is rmd rightmost derivation because we have derived this expression using rightmost derivation we have expanded we have expanded the rightmost variable first okay so this is rightmost derivation clear so as you have seen this lmd and rmd that is leftmost derivation and rightmost derivation now we can also expand or we can also get this expression this expression using lmd but in a different way and similarly we will see deriving this expression using rmd but in a different way so let's let's see that 